Verify order and obtain the appropriate equipment for task. Verify standard frequency addressing change. Verify the original external length for catheter and verify patient's allergies to obtain appropriate skin cleansing solutions and tape. Perform hand hygiene. Greet and identify the patient using two patient identifiers. Explain procedure to patient using age-appropriate language as needed. Take vital signs. A minimum vital sign needed is the temperature. If temperature is over 100.5, stop and notify the physician for guidance. Gather supplies and equipment. The nurse will don the mask. Place mask on patient as well. The nurse secures the end of the line, the ejection caps, to the arm using tape. Don non-sterile gloves and remove pick dressing and securement device, avoiding pulling the catheter. Inspect the site for redness, swelling, and discharge. Removes gloves and performs hand hygiene. Nurse establishes sterile field with central line dressing kit and adds supplies in sterile fashion. Nurse Don sterile gloves. Maintain appropriate aseptic and sterile technique during the procedure. Perform aseptic skin cleaning. Cleanse insertion site with an alcohol swab if old blood is present. Allow the alcohol to dry. Cleanse around the site with chlorhexidine prep for 30 to 60 seconds using a back and forth method with friction. Cleanse the remainder of pick dressing site with chlorhexidine prep for 30 to 60 seconds using a back and forth method with friction. Allow the area to dry for one minute. No blowing, blotting, or fanning the area. Measure length of external portion of catheter. If catheter has migrated out more than two and a half centimeters, nurse must obtain an x-ray to verify the location. Do not push back in the catheter. If catheter has migrated in, nurse pulls out the catheter back to the original external length. Dressing application. Apply skin prep if needed. Apply securement device. Apply dressing. Secure catheter without kinks or tension. 
Make sure dressing covers entire site, including securement device. Pre-prime positive pressure injection cap and or extension set. Maintain injection cap tip sterility. Leave the 10 milliliter normal saline flush syringe attached. Injection cap must be changed with each pick dressing change after blood draws or if sluggish occluded line. Clean injection cap tip and threads with an alcohol wipe for 15 seconds. Nurse attaches a 10 milliliter normal saline flush syringe, draw back for blood return, then flush with 10 mils normal saline flush syringe. Remove the old injection cap and cleanse threads of lumen for 15 seconds with new alcohol wipe. Attach new injection cap and flush with the final 10 milliliters of normal saline flush. Clean injection cap tip and threads with an alcohol wipe for 15 seconds. Apply swab cap. Properly disposes of equipment used and performs hand hygiene. Document on the dressing the date, initials, and external length of centimeters. Also document on LDAs in Health Connect.